Is this going to be like the final showdown? Is he going to kill him as well or is he going to escape so. and then come back? Hello and welcome back to Cinema Rules. My name's Tom and behind the camera we have Sean. Hello. Today we're carrying on our Patreon playlist. So these films have been voted on by our Patreon subscribers. So thank you so much for continuing to vote and supporting the channel there. Today, Sean, we're watching Yojimbo. Or is it Yojimbo? Yojimbo. <laughs> 1961. Akira Kurosawa is the director of this film. Now, have you heard his name before, Sean? No. This name, like, I was watching a video the other day and it had just interviews spliced together with famous directors. So, Martin Scorsese, Edgar Wright, Tarantino, um, George Lucas was in there as well. All of them cited Kurosawa as one of the best directors ever and one of their influences as well. Oh, wow. Um, I don't really know much about this film other than I think the director may have sued Sergio Leone, uh, the 1964 Clint Eastwood film that we watched on the channel, A Fistful of Dollars, for being a rip-off of we this film. Him. I don't know whether it was sued or... I don't know whether he was sued or whether or not he just made allegations of, of the film copying this. Yeah. So I think A Fistful of Dollars might be technically a kind of like reskin, remake uh, okay. of this film. Yeah. But I think it's Samurai because Kurosawa directs the famous film Seven Samurai, which also went into kind of the kind of magnificent seven. Yeah. Um, so you can see even early on, he had a big influence on Hollywood at least anyway. Yeah. So I'm really excited to see this film. Okay. Um, apart from that, I can't, I don't know anything else. I don't know who's in it. So, I'm excited. We'll see. Sean, did you know 42% of the people that watch our videos are subscribed? But that means 58 aren't. What are they doing, Sean? I don't know, they're not clicking that button. Do they not know that cinema absolutely rules? <laughs> so, make sure you hit that subscribe button and tick the old notification bell so you can stay up to date with our videos and watch them when they come out on the channel. And if you want to join us on the quest to watch every film ever made and vote for our films, then head on over to Patreon now where you can subscribe and in the smallest tier, you can vote on the films that we watch. Just a note, it's free to subscribe on YouTube, but you have to pay on Patreon. There you go. Why not do it for free here, right now? Let's go. Yo Jimbo. Yo Jimbo. Yo, Jimbo! Well, I hope we're like, pronouncing it right. I hope it's not... Yeah, I hope we're not being offensive <laughs> without realising it. It's such a beautifully written language, isn't it? Like, way better than our alphabet. I'm pretty sure the characters are, like, massively unique as well. Yeah, they're, they're not just a letter. It's like a, it's like a saying or a meaning. A word yeah. has a big phrase. Right? Yeah. So I read up, read up since the intro when I said that I thought Sergio Leone mm. kind of ripped off a fist... Uh, this for a fistful of dollars, and apparently Akira Kurosawa was shown was at the premiere or saw or shown a copy of a fistful of dollars, and asked what he thought, and he said, "Oh, it's an amazing film, but it's my film." <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna live it up and die young. In other words, YOLO. <laughs> <laughs> Every generation says this about the kids in there. <laughs> you slam that door any harder, you rip it off. <laughs> he looks a bit, he, he's almost got that kind of, do you know that Clint Eastwood uh, stare. stare, the kind of. Like the mouth, the, like the eyebrow thing as well. Uh, yeah. I have a feeling that this movie started something in the Japanese culture, and I'm not going to say what it is until I see it because I'm not too sure whether this is the film. 
It's definitely got that Western feel, hasn't That's it? That's what like, I was thinking. It's everybody empty. like looking out. The town the is saloon, empty. The saloon like looking out of the thing. 100%. Oh! I have zero idea what the samurai is doing or what his intentions are, just, motives. Like, why is he I in think this he's town? Just like a, I think he's just like a mercenary. Like a drifter, maybe. It's not Dane. That guy's massive! He's sizing up everyone. <laughs> 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 I'm glad it had what it said it was the building restaurant because I would have never <laughs> known. Give it to me! Stop it! I'm going to take 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 it! So, what's the perception of the samurais? Are they like a. Uh, the samurais are like a, as far as I know, they're like um, considered really honourable and noble. Oh yeah, he can do that. You be all no in here, then he can't get extra that. What I can you stop? So there's two rival gangs. <laughs> Look, he's trying to do the maths. God. That guy's hideous. You know, if you didn't shave your eyebrows. You'd look like I don't him. If I didn't shave my eyebrows. Yeah, if you didn't shave your monobrow. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> he could easily take that guy out, surely. Oh, yeah, I'm trying to I have I I like it. Yeah. This is ominous. Something's about to go down. Yeah. I think we're about to get a standoff, but they don't have guns, so they're just going to have to draw their swords quick enough. Yes. Throne darts. Throne stars. Are they called shrukens? It sounds like you literally made up that word halfway through saying No, that. I'm sure they <laughs> Oh. Go on, show us. Would you really, in your right mind, challenge this guy that's just walked in if he's so confident? The music's um, different to what I've heard before. Um, it's very like it. It stands out quite a bit. Go there, one v one. One v one. One v one on Rust, bitch. <laughs> Quick scope, no scope. Is he gonna kill all three? Whoa! Oh! Tom, Jesus, you need a shave. Because <laughs> he's gonna bleed Damn. out. <laughs> Everyone in this town is hating life, but the coffin maker's like, business is booming. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, he's going to get paid for killing those people, but he's going to make the town bankrupt because of how many people he has to kill. <laughs> 50. Is that 50 per person? I don't know. No, no, it's just the it's just for the entire thing. しょうがこっちのもんで。なるほどね。でもお前さんそうなりゃまた25ドルだろ。勝ちに勝ったところであいつを殺しちゃ丸々50ドル助かるんだがね。ああ。やがり。だから猫を殺せん。And <laughs> 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 Some son you, you are want me not to kill to this amazing samurai that's it. killed three people. Has he got no name? Is he like the man with no name? Like, Maybe, yeah. Like Clint Eastwood. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 
頑張ったけど30ロード言うからどうせどこの馬の骨かわからないやつだ He is the man with no name. We'll call you Clint. <laughs> Eastwood. I swear he's been like eating in every scene. <laughs> What's he doing? Is he just running away? <laughs> What a coward. What the hell? <laughs> What the hell? He's running with a sword. Almost feels like a finale already. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's outright. He's outright. <laughs> no. He's literally said. brought him into a fight. He brought him into a fight and then it's just like, yeah, no, you can do it. <laughs> Oh. He still killed three of their men there, so Yeah. He? <laughs> Not... <laughs> yeah, you're hardly near him. This is like the game of the games of bulldogs at school we used to play. I love that game. <laughs> yeah. Who's gonna show it with a pile of money first? Yeah. If he knows one side is the village and the other side is a bunch of gangs. He's no, not... but the guy that's imposed himself as like mayor is still. They still tried to kill it. They still want to kill it. They still yeah, to true, kill him after true, it, true. Just kill him already. Is he going to offer him something? No, he's just coming in to try and intimidate him, I think, with his monobra. Joking, you said you wanted to kill me. <laughs> he's gonna get a hundred by the end of the movie, isn't he? Doesn't that happen in Fistful of Dollars? Doesn't he end up getting both bits of gold or I can't remember money from both sides. It was a while ago. Lays sides against each other and gets both bits of money and rides off with the money at the end. Yeah, potentially. Cool life. A truce is only the seed for an even bloodier battle. Oh damn, here we go. Look at this guy. He's got no arms. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a gun. So I have to flick that easy with his samurai sword. Yeah. Like, 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 like Anakin, like. <laughs> Jesus. Dead. Oh! He cut his clothing. That's oh, how accurate he is. Is this, this, is this just another way that they're trying to like win him over? Yeah, to do some. With the women. <laughs> that guy's like his biggest fan now. Yeah. Oh, wow. oh there's blood. This guy's good at as well. He's a fake samurai. Like a good white transition. Yeah. Oh! Oh no! A 
random woman. Obviously it means something to him. Do you know what Shabak White feel for so long? It, it feels like it, it's in colour just mm -hmm. for a little split second. Yeah. I've lost track of who the bad guys are. They're all bad, Sean. I know. All of them. He's got his gun. I'm so like, I might be. It's because we've we I've not read one thing or. I'm just so lost in this in this story. Do you know what's going on? Are you also lost? There's too many characters. There's way uh, too many characters. I can't, I can't keep track of, of their names at the moment. They all, the, and, there's, and there's two sides at the moment. Yeah. The two gangs. Yeah. The village. Some people in the village are kind of being a little bit oppressed. Like, yeah. there's this kid here. But where did the kid come from? And the mother. We've never seen them before. Well, isn't the mother the one that was revealed to be... Yeah, but yeah. why would... If that's a massive reveal for him, but it should also be a massive they, reveal for us. I don't us. think they've spoken about them too much. But maybe they go back to now because it says, poor fellow, his wife was too beautiful. But I don't know, I feel like he's going to help the kid now. I just wanted to make sure that you are also just as lost as me and I'm not being a fucking idiot. Uh, maybe, maybe we're both being fucking idiots. Hopefully it's going to uh, become a little bit more clear. Yeah. Me? There's a lot of dialogue in this. If I'm honest. There's a lot of dialogue in this, and I, th I don't know whether we're losing a bit in the subtitles that we have. I think. In terms of I, the potentially, translation. Potentially. I think that's the problem with what's happening. Pot here. Potentially. But um, also, but also when, there's, when there's important moments going on, you're having to read, but also when you're reading, you're missing what's on the screen. And, we don't really, and split second things. We haven't really had a problem like not, that with. We've never really had a problem with like that with subtitles. I, I felt. A similar thing with a fistful of dollars, though, in terms of story mm. about like what's going on here. Mm. Let's carry on watching this. And I don't know where, whether it's about the era of the movie. Uh, yeah, I don't know whether it's the era about of the movies. They just expect you to know, or expect you to be in the dark. And well, just... I feel like we're we're following along with a character who doesn't know exactly, these people as well, exactly. So maybe maybe it's that, and yeah. I'm just not very used to that. That at all. Tokuman is the new guy yeah. with gun, isn't he? Yeah. He took his wife, and the, that is his. That is her son. Yeah. So now he's going to help this family because yeah. these are the real innocents okay. in it, aren't they? Okay. I asked the questions right at the moment we were going to get them. <laughs> the answers, yeah. <laughs> Guys like who? Yeah, that's the guy, the husband who isn't fighting for his wife back, or the guy that stole his wife. He's a bit, he's a bit, um, mm. yeah. very ominous, isn't he? So for the, this guy's got his, he's like, I've got a gun. I can't do anything except shoot this gun. Is this the moment where he like infiltrates oh, yeah. the, the opposing? Because yeah. I'm pretty sure that happened in Fistful of Dollars as well. Should we just turn this off and watch Fistful of Dollars? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> I hope he gets these people, man. I hope he yeah. gets some. Get some food. <laughs> oh! Ah! Oh, he is going for them. <laughs> so he did infiltrate. No, no, as in like he said, all six, six of them are dead, and yeah. then now he's, and now he's killing them. them. Run for it! I stole it. Oh damn! I guess they don't have forensics. Yeah. <laughs> it's Just wipe exactly. the blood off your sword. That's yeah. the only thing you need to do. <laughs> They're, still They're still there. there. What are they doing? Run! They're idiots. No one would believe in that it. it was just him either. No. <laughs> you wouldn't. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> this fucking guy. This is like a montage of retaliation now, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. I'd just be like, 
open my mouth and they're like, what are they? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's no hope. I'm trying to oh. stop it. I don't know. I'll put it in my mouth and I can spit it out into a bucket. Stop swallowing it. <laughs> He's looking to get his sword. He's going to put the uh, other bottle on the rest of it. Ah, oh, damn it! Oh no! It's going to shoot him in the face, and that's the end of the film. <laughs> yeah, I thought so. Yeah. He's been knocked out. Yeah. Oh, wow. Jesus. Now he's going to escape, but we're going to get a big fight with this massive guy first, probably. He's been beat up bad, man. The sizes of, of this feet. That's what my brother used to do to me as a kid. <laughs> You don't see many protagonists get this beat battered, up. do you? Not do really, you? not often. What's he seen? A lock on the chest. Please tell me his sword's in there. <laughs> What, folded up? Yeah. Not folded <laughs> up. You it's a big fit? chest. Oh, it is quite big actually, yeah. <laughs> I thought it was a little one. Folded up. <laughs> I thought it was like that. <laughs> Surely you would have thought to check the chest. Uh, it's not that deep. And he said he unlocked the door. Why would, if the door's unlocked, why would you think that he's hidden in a chest? <laughs> is this gonna be like the final showdown? Is he gonna kill him as well, or is he gonna escape so. and then come back? <laughs> Yeah, that guy needs to die, and so does Gunny. Yeah. But not for me. <laughs> it's literally exactly like a fistful of dollars. He literally bef befriends someone that makes coffins, doesn't he? And nurses him back to the house, an old guy, yeah, I'm sure. In the fistful of dollars, that was a, a horse cart. And he hid. It's crazy. It's actually crazy. I don't know how how I feel about it. I really don't. <laughs> I don't like that guy. He needs to die. God damn it. This guy with the gun needs to die. Oh, he, he hasn't swung his sword once. He's a coward, he's a, a coward. bitch, he's a little bitch. And the other guy needs to die as well. Mono bro. <laughs> he's helping him this guy. Oh, damn. They would have had to actually do that. Or was it in reverse? No. It wouldn't have well, been. Well, you used the force to pull it up. No, like a string, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have his sword. <laughs> oh, no. How is he going to come up against this guy with a gun, though, if he... I swear away. to God, if he like bats away a bullet, I'm gonna be, lose my shit. Oh, he's not dead. Oh, no. Thank God. Is he? 
No, he's not. He would, his head would be hanging down. Yeah, it sounds like he's breathing. All of this could have been avoided if he had just murdered the gang in the first place. Oh my god! <laughs> Come on. The massive guys there as well. Yeah. And the gunny. And monobrow. Oh. <laughs> They've all got swords. Except for this guy. Soldier! Oh! <laughs> this guy is just scared. <laughs> He's just scared. You aren't going to the other world, you're going to hell! <laughs> By the way, that last fight scene with the swords mm -hmm. is kind of like what we did in the playground at uh, primary school. <laughs> yeah. No, oh. <laughs> I love deaths in old films. Yeah. Which is what he wanted. <laughs> <laughs> His body just splits vertically down the <laughs> And that's it, it ends like that. Okay, so that was Yo Yimbo or Yo Jimbo. Yo Jimbo. Um, 1961. 1961. Akira Kurosawa. Or in other words, A Fistful of Dollars. Man, <laughs> well, look, look, look. No, look, A Fistful look, of Dollars. I feel like is, we, we yeah, said yeah, that yeah. so many times, but it's just so glaringly obvious. Insane. No, and, and let's it's, just. It's before, not, it's before not we just, continue. Before it's we, not just the premise, it's not the character. Before we continue, it, this isn't copying. Fistful of Dollars, yeah, we know yeah, we that. Know that. We, we know, know that. This is obviously the coming Fistful out of Dollars copies um, this. But it's not just the characters or the basic plot, it's just every Everything. narrative beat. Even some of the lines. Some of the lines, um, even some of the shots, I think. Some of the shots are well, very like, reminiscent. Like you were saying, especially after when he got beaten up and it was going into the town and it was getting distracted and, and he was getting destroyed. And then when the smoke was pouring out of the center of uh, out of the front yeah. of the house as yeah. well, and the people got killed out front. Yeah. Um, and it, and it's it's so unfortunate that we didn't watch this first because, because I don't think we're giving this film enough credit for the actual story that's, well, well, that's there. Well, that's the thing; it's hard for us to ignore that we've already seen this film before almost. So it's hard for us to ignore that fact. Mm. But it but we shouldn't let it deter from its from its original value. And the original value is that it's an original story yeah. here. But but it's unfortunate that we're watching it and thinking it's not an original story. Or we have the perception that it's not an original story because we watched yeah. it with Sergio Leone's uh, fistful of dollars. And we stopped about an hour in and had a little ch chat to each other about what was going on because I think that the problem we had here is that we, were c we weren't concentrating enough on the actual dialogue in terms of the subtitles and reading them because when you're watching a film with subs, you glance at the subs but you're also looking at what's on the screen at the same time. But we missed a lot in terms of the actual characters and their names and who was who because there were a lot of characters in this film so I personally think that that's even though it was the same film we had a bit of a struggle working out who was who and what was happening but as soon as we said that and had that conversation it it was completely just completely yeah, it fine got, it was fine we got yeah, back on we, track we, again we, we, we got, we got back on track with the story can I just build on top of that however um, because I with a fistful of dollars, I I remember also struggling to concentrate on the story because it was losing me. Um, I wasn't aware uh, fully of what was going on because, and I think 
I, I'm not going to blame the subtitles he for Yo Yimbo because or Yo Jimbo because I also felt it with a fistful of dollars. I think for me personally, and it could be I could be wrong. Like my me personally could be wrong about my personal view of this. I'm just I'm just trying to explore the different uh, uh, reasons as to why I feel like I get lost. Because I got lost in this film and I got lost in the Fistful of Dollars, and they're both the same film. It's a character. I that... think. Go sorry, on. sorry. I, I, I'll wrap it up. I think it's the type of story and this type of plot beats that comes with this with this narrative. Someone coming in, a lonesome warrior who is experiencing everything for the first and time going, and, we're, yeah. and we're following them through the story yeah. not know, also not knowing what's going on yeah. or not knowing the full extent and we're, we're seeing things play out and then we get an um, exposition as to exactly what, yeah. why that had I'm, just I'm, happened I'm, I'm I being, get confused when a story I'm does that interested. and I don't like yeah. it when it, that, that, in that type of I story I don't know because I love this character and I think I vaguely remember it's been like three years I think yeah. since we watched Fistful of Dollars but yeah. go check out our reaction on the channel and see what we say about it because I vaguely remember us saying something along the lines of we wanted a little bit more not backstory for Clint Eastwood's character but I think we might have said something like we wanted him to show that he's more torn or more emotion but I love how here you kind of question and they, the characters do as well question the honour and integrity of the samurai, mm. but yeah, he, the whole time he was but that's wasn't, the thing. I wasn't like working that. for any of these uh, uh, criminal. I like gangs that. because I was the in this reaction. I was the one was like, well, aren't samurai supposed to be honourable? And that question was never brought up in a fistful of dollars because he's just a he's just a cowboy. He's just a lone uh, warrior. So. Samurai, so you know, honor is a is a question. You already there. have that, my, that question in your mind. Yeah. Isaac. So yeah. so I like the fact that it mm. made us question him and his mm. character. Um, but I in, do. In, what? In, yeah. 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 What, what I do like about this film, though, is that I, I like some of I like a lot of the the shots and the camera work, the lighting and the shadow as well. Especially, mm -hmm. um, they work really well, and I don't remember that as much from Sergio Leone's first film at least and I do from the other two in the Spaghetti Western trilogy but I like a lot of the camera work here what did you think to the fight choreography um I think the fight choreography comes with the type of of um violence or the type of uh combat yeah so I I don't dislike it, but for example, the finale of A Fistful of Dollars, I felt had more of an impact for me mm. than the finale of this. I, Despite it being the I same just, finale, it yeah, was a different type of I, combat. I feel like you built up these peripheral characters, the kind of antagonists. And you expect them to have a different type of co combat characteristic. Yeah, I, no, I just feel like... He killed them all really quickly, which is fine. I don't have a problem with that. No. Um, but it's, it's. I feel like you should have got at least a character, a close up of the character. It's not. It's it's, it's the no character's face as they die, just it, very briefly. It's no uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three corridor one shot yeah, take, yeah, is it? <laughs> and I just think I would have liked in the sound design to have a bit more impact. Of impact of the actual sword when he's cutting through them at the end because it, you don't hear anything well that's the thing you don't hear anything and I don't know whether that's intentional because it's so sharp and he's because so, it's so swift yeah, yeah it's so yeah. swift and he's like air you know he's, he's very yeah. he's very smooth um, but I do agree um, my comment during the reaction was like oh that just seemed like it was us in a school field <laughs> in primary school playing swords and pretend yeah. like that's that's so it, it didn't give me a in like a, a visceral reaction, yeah. a visceral um, feeling, uh, which you would want to, want to expect from a movie. Um, but I mean, I, I mean, think... some moments were when he chopped yeah. off limbs. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. yeah Even the fir the first yeah. time he mowed down three people, the people that he he killed in the uh, the um, barn. 
Yeah, um, yeah. I say barn. It wasn't a fucking barn. It was a, um, like the five or six people that he killed and destroyed the place. Yeah, I mean, I I, I really like this film, and I'm I'm and I'm so excited now to watch his other films that aren't gonna be. That that we that people will have perhaps paid homage to, but aren't necessarily ones that we've seen uh, yeah. uh, narratively. Mm. The be- best thing I'm going to take away from this is that it's narratively really original when it came out. Yeah, um, and the story and the character that they've crafted is really good. I would have loved to see this character appear in more films. Mm. Yeah, um, I mean. This film is very... You can easily compare it to A Fistful of Dollars. Easily. Um, and you could do a breakdown into the nuances of each and every scene. Side, you yeah, could do yeah. a side-by-side. Side. Uh, but in a general sense, I appreciate the story here more. I think this film executed the story better, despite it being... A, obviously, A Fistful of Dollars is because a carbon if you know, copy. If you notice as well, though, in A Fistful of Dollars, he goes away with money in the end, but here he doesn't go away well, that's with the anything. Thing. That's the thing. When he appeared, he had nothing yeah. at all, and they gave him the free food because he was a samurai and he would maybe support them. Well, that's that's why but I prefer this story it better. Actually, it's, better. I've only just realised that it's quite a subtle way to show his character and yeah. who, what he actually is and who he is. And, and the, you know, the story is centred around his character, and I think his character is better than Clint Eastwood's. Mm. That's why I prefer the story here. Whereas the Clint Eastwood one, I also do pr- uh, prefer the samurai setting mm. uh, in, in this film to the Western setting. Mm. However, I do but feel I do, like there, wonder, there are fistful, uh, in a fistful of dollars, there yeah. are more impactful but scenes. But I wonder if Kurosawa in turn was also influenced by Westerns, early Westerns, yeah. when making this film. Because it yeah. it's, 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 it's made in the same era. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's, it's an interesting one. And, and I want you guys to start a dialogue in the comments. Comment and have a conversation with each other as to what is... You know, no one's wrong. No one's wrong. Yeah, yeah. What is and your you don't opinion? have to hate on people that prefer a the Western of to, to this. Yeah. But what do you think? Where do the two films... Give us two, your reasons. What are, your, you, what are your opinions on the two films? And maybe you know a bit more about the behind the scenes and about the history of, of the, of the uh, kind of similarities... But also, what is your favourite Kurosawa film? Mm. Is it this one, or do you have a better one that we should watch that you would want to vote for in the future? And if you do have one in mind, go over to our Patreon page down in the description below. The mm. lowest tier on, that, on, on the Patreon, you're able to make suggestions and vote for what films we watch next. So if you want us to watch more of the, his movies, you can comment uh, on them on our Patreon page down in the description mm. below. Um, but if you just want to support the channel for free, then you can hit that subscribe button on YouTube and it's completely free. We're trying to hit 100,000 uh, subscribers. Mm. We're very, very close.